So you're thinking about moving to Southwest Florida. Well, you're in luck. Today we're gonna to be looking at a home, a custom built home here in Cape Coral, the Emily II model. It is right now available. It's normally a custom build, meaning you have to actually sit down with the builder, go through all the specs and everything to have it built specifically to your specifications. So we're gonna take a look at this model here and you're gonna sh show you all the ins and outs of everything that's available. We get calls and texts and emails from people all across the country, just like you, who are thinking about making their move to Southwest Florida. So if you're three days to 30 days or even 90 days out or more, give us a call, shoot us an email, give us a text message. The information's in the description below and we'll be absolutely happy to help you to make your smooth move here to Southwest Florida as well. As always, we'll start on the front here where you're gonna see the interlocking pavers on a full width driveway with plenty of space for all the vehicles, three car garage, one plus two door out front. Round to the right here, you're gonna see the protected entrance. All the windows are impact rated windows. They're treated and they're energy efficient. So you're gonna have a lot of really good options there. You have a security system and the eaves there that you're seeing, as well as the pavers do wrap around the entire property and recessed lighting in the soffits all the way around to provide ample lighting at night. So that way there's never a dark spot where you're just tripping over things. So next we're gonna take a look in the Lanai area here. This is the absolute area that everybody raves about. 360 degree wraparound pool. We have the sun tray. We have your full pool with a sitting area at the other end. That's a Pebble Tech Pebble Sheen finish there, so it gives you an absolute twinkling and sparkling in the sunlight. You have LED color light panels in there, so you'll be able to then light it up at night, as well as also relax and spend your days here just soaking up the sun. You'll notice that that 360 degree wraparound, it has full tile all the way around it, and it just absolutely screams to, to be enjoyed and, and dip in every day. This is where you guys want to end the day or start your day with a morning cup of coffee is out here on this lanai. Full base screen in window there so that, that way you have an unobstructed view of the uh, of the outside and then that's going to allow you then also to have a great view from any of the windows outside that you'll see there on the right so that that bay window style screen gives you a great view from that window and from this one which will be your home office and then of course the outdoor kitchen area which is something that us guys absolutely love we love to go out here and cook if you have a chef in your family this is the absolute place to be you have of course your flat top grill you have a wraparound area to be able to serve all the drinks and beverages that you could possibly want and to entertain friends and family there while you're doing the cooking. And so, yep, you've got your flat top built in here. And so you have plenty of room for your bacon and eggs. And then if you want to do some sort of side or you want to do some basic grilling, you can do it right here as well. It's really your choice. And then of course you have a sink so that you have your cleaning station. You have your fridge for all your cold items out here so you don't have to go back in and out all the time as well as of course then the necessary garbage area the owners have this as a storage area right now but that is your garbage area towels at the ready the custom fans you'll see here along the ceiling that are absolutely awesome that's a recessed light in the middle there where the hub usually is and so it's a three blade wood fan on both of them. There's two of them there. And of course then the hook up there for your TV was back on the left. And then of course we'll just ring, wing around here to the other side and we'll take a look at the mechanics for the pool area. In the pool area, we have your manifold system here. This is all internet controlled. You can re return everything back to normal, make sure it's all up and running. Your pool heater is here, as well as your full uh, pool control panel here as well. All your manifolds and valves are labeled here as they should be, so it's very easy to maintain and understand what all's going on. Even though there's a lot of valves here, it really allows for very simple operation. 
and then of course all your hookups here for your outdoor irrigation system your storage for the pool tools and then of course your air conditioner and a door there into your garage also with this nook it allows you as you can see to keep your your uh, your garbage cans out of sight and out of mind outside service panel area here where your meter is and of course then down below you have your internet connection hooked up for for your uh, internet activities and things like that here at the house high-speed internet is absolutely available now we'll go back around to the outside here and the front and we'll wheel around take another good look at the pavers on it the drive is massive if you have vehicles that you need to store it is absolutely massive the curbing and the walk around walk up paver area here to the right is spacious it gives you a great curb appeal for this type of a, a home and then let's take a look inside so you, this is just in from the main entryway here you'll see a large vaulted ceiling in the area it gives you a great feeling of space and volume it feels absolutely wonderful the tile is carried throughout the whole home you'll notice coffered ceiling that I believe is 14 foot to the, the inside of the coffer, 13 to the normal ceilings, TVs, everything are included in this. So basically all the furnishings that you're seeing here are included in this property. And then of course you have the, the wainscot and the, the decorative shutters inside, the, uh, the plantation shutters. This, this works great as a formal dining area, or you could use this as another task area for, uh, for your crew, for whatever you choose to do. And it's still open to the entire family room, the great room concept. Uh, decorative fan here that puts out a lot of, a lot, a lot of uh, air. And then for those of you that do work from home there's a study there to the right and so that'll allow you to work as an office space or a study then you have the stone island here in the middle with the glass tile backsplash induction cooktop fridge freezer now this is something that most people don't realize is that the soft close cabinetry that's not something that is standard on a lot of them but they make a big difference in the overall noise when people are doing things in the kitchen. So you'll see you have soft clothes there. And then something else a lot of people don't realize, take a look right here, dovetailed cabinetry, joinery on the drawers. Again, soft clothes on the, on the drawer there. Now if you take a look around, you also have on the other side, a large, large farmhouse style tub. And of course the air switch for your disposal and everything like that stainless steel appliances your dishwasher has never even been used guys seriously it's it's not even been touched you have a wall wall oven microwave here above all for easy access more storage and expanded cabinetry up above so that your seasonal items and things that you don't normally use that often can all go up there it gives you a lot of really good storage options guys and so you have plenty of bar space here for entertaining guests and family while you're cooking. Now, if we go through here, you'll take a quick look at this. Listen here. Yeah, that is, that is actually hurricane rated or storm rated glass, impact glass all the way throughout. You don't have to put up shutters here. This would be your primary bedroom, your master bedroom rather. And this is all as it's going to be sold. So this is, normally it's a custom home. You don't have the option of being able to get something like this without actually speaking directly to the builder and having it built for you and waiting through all the time frame to get it done. Master uh, closets, his and hers on one side and then on the other, we have matching closets there. They chose to stay with the wire rack systems, but you can easily add those uh, wood style closet systems if you choose. Dual vanity with undermount sinks, designer mirrors, Again, a really nice light window, light emitting window over here. Rain style shower glass, rainfall hood or uh, head. The drain is not your standard drain. That is going to allow you to then have a lot less uh, issues with with drain stoppage and things like that. The tile in the base of the drain or the base of the uh, shower as well. 
is non-slip, which is a huge safety issue that they thought of. And so now we're going looking back out here to the Lanai area that we were just visiting a little bit ago. You'll see the fans in action now. And so just imagine being able to have have the whole crew in and enjoy that. And if you want to do that, you can still keep an eye on them and work from home right here in your very own home office. Uh, or you can just take a nap right here on the couch and just enjoy. So it's really up to you. They got barn style doors, uh, barn door style closing here. We'll show you that. So if you take a look here, if you need to close it off for privacy and things like that, you absolutely can. And so that way you can close out any noise that's happening in the rest of the house. But I don't know about you, but for me, most of the time I would leave that wide open and just enjoy, enjoy the rest of the house. But let me open that back up here. And then next you have your linen closet here, which is leading off to the hallway. It's a split floor plan layout as well. Again, wire rack system in there, but you can upgrade that if you want to later on to a wood closet system. This will be bedroom number two. Bedroom number two, they have all walk-in closets. You'll notice the high baseboards and great trim all the way around. You have no bifolds here. It's actual doors, full walk-in closet, wire rack system here. But again, you can easily get the closet system of your choice if that's not for you. Bathroom here in the middle, so that, that way it's accessible to both bedrooms. Again, the same style designer mirror designer fixtures, undermount sink, stone sink vanity area there, tile all the way to the ceiling. Again, same decorative style drain, anti-slip tile. I mean, they really, they, they just did a very clean job of this build. You'll see we have the designer fans in here. This is bedroom number three. So in this, we've got now, again, full walk-in closet here around the back. So we'll go around and take a quick look at that. Also, your full security system is wired in and stays and does come up on that screen right there on the wall. So if you wanted to, to check out what's been going on in your security system, it's all right there. They carried the baseboard even throughout even throughout the closets, guys. I mean, really, tall baseboards throughout the living area is pretty normal, but even into the even even into the closets, I mean, honestly, that's really that's attention to detail. So we'll take another quick look here. This is the glass tile backsplash we were talking about, and your hood. Your hood is not protruding out; it's actually inside the cabinetry above there. That's an induction cooktop, which means you're going to need special pots and pans for it. And yes, we have them right here. So again, this is, if I can give it a little bit of steam, this is the soft close cabinetry as well, or hinges as well, so those will keep a bunch of noises from happening. Fridge and freezer there on the right. And then of course now to the necessary room, the laundry room. Plenty of storage overhead for all your laundry and uh, all your basic storage needs. Washer and dryer of course stay with, as well as you have the laundry tub on the right here. And it's undermount uh, with another matching stone decorative, uh, decorative vanity style layout. All right, so now that's going to give you the view from the kitchen area. This is as you're coming in from the garage. What most of us here in Florida do is we come in from the garage. We go in and out all the time. Three car garage, two car and a one, making a total of three. Coated and epoxyed floor, so it's not going to be something that gets messed up very easily. These are all set and ready to go. If you'll notice back there on the right, you have your hot water heater. There's the door that we were talking about on the outside tour when we looked around the outside. And that is going to be the door that goes out so that you can take the trash out and things like that from the house. You have next to the panel there, you have a generator hookup so that you can run your generator from out the back door and far enough away to be safe and run it into certain circuits on the house. Storm rated doors on all three of the car bays there. Your air conditioner unit is easily accessible from the garage area. There's, of course, your on off so your up down switches for your garage doors. Pendant lighting over the, the center island. 
They wrapped the whole island with the same trim as what you'll see in the dining room. So if you'll take a look just at the end there and right here, if we move one of these chairs out of the way, you'll notice something else you'll also notice here. And this is the attentions to detail that these guys really do compared to everybody else. You'll notice they had the board and batten and style matching wainscot from here, from the dining area. They wrapped the island with it as well. And so this is just it's that attention to detail because if you have little ones with feet that love to kick, guess what? Those are going to get dirtied up real quick. Well, with that decorative plate, it's not nearly as big a deal and it's easier to wash and wipe down. Obviously, volume ceilings, huge, huge volume ceilings gives you a, a feeling of grandeur in your home. And that's really it. This is this is the Emily 2. This is a custom built home. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you're notified each and every time we have new home tours just like this to keep you absolutely on the up to date as to exactly what's going on here in Southwest Florida. We'll talk to you on the next one.